Hello community, if you have found this video on YouTube, this video is a demonstration on making a stress test to the cinema's microservice. This video belongs to the build a Node.js cinema microservice series that I wrote at Medium. If you haven't heard of it, I put the link to the article in the description of the video. Okay, so in this video I'm going to describe our Cinema's Microservices JMeter Stress Test. We are going to test our microservices or more correctly defined Docker services deployed in our newly created Docker Swarm cluster. So first, we need to add a HTTP header management and here we are going to add two properties. This is our head HTTP management and our properties are the content type and the accept property that has the value as application JSON. Then we are going to add a thread group and I call it testing. We have we have to fill two inputs here that the first one is the number of threads describe the total numbers of users used to execute the full test plan. In the second input is the ramp up period describes the time to load all users given above. So we are given 10 seconds, 10,000 seconds, sorry. This means that JMeter will load all 1,000 users in 10,000 seconds. Means that one user will be loaded after every 10 seconds if we do the math. In our thread group, we need to add a default HTTP request to configure our server's IP and port. This is our HTTP request. Well, here we are going to set the IP of the manager one Docker machine that has the 192.168.99.100 and the port 8080 and here we are specifying the HTTPS protocol as well. We are setting the port and the HTTP protocol because there is where the API gateway is listening and all the tests are going to make the request through the API gateway service. This is for calling the other Docker machines that has different IPs, as you can see, 101, and here, 102. Okay, now let's review our first test, movies. That here we are going to fetch all the movies, and here we are calling our movie service, making a get request, calling the movies endpoint, at the movies service docker service. In the second test we are going to make another get request to the cinemas catalog service where the endpoint is cinemas. Here we are passing the, the city ID and here we are passing the movie ID where the final result is to get all the schedules from this movie by a given city and finally the last test will make a post request to the booking service at the endpoint booking with the method post and here we are passing we are passing the JSON data to fulfill the test. I didn't make a test for the payment and notification service because those tests are implicitly made inside the booking service. And to monitor the test, we can look at the Docker services logs 
and see if the requests are passing, su passing successfully. Here is where we are going to monitor the logs. In the first console, I'm going to log the API gateway service. In the second, I'm, we, I am going to monitor the movies service. In the third, we are going to monitor the Cinema's catalog service. In the fourth, we are going to monitor the booking service. In the fifth, we are going to monitor the payment service. And in the last console, we are going to monitor the notification service. As you can see, we are ready to go and we can play, hit and play the green button. And here, as you can see, here are the 1000 users. The test has started. And here we can how our Docker services are logging. The proxy is fully working and sorry, here we can service is proxying the routes. And here we can see that services are 200. That means that we are successfully completing the task.